Welcome to Station 284. I'm Todd Murray with the Chandler Fire Department. I'm here today to talk to you about our special operations team. Now, Chandler has two different special operations teams. One is the hazardous materials team, the other is the technical rescue team. Let's see the hazardous materials team today. A lot of people think that hazardous materials is just like your industry, okay? The big companies out there, but every household has hazardous materials in their home. Just think about your kitchen, your garage, your vehicle runs on a hazardous materials, gasoline, okay? Let's see what we have here to help take care of those issues. In your home, when you make a spill, you use a paper towel or something of that sort to pick it up, to absorb it, right? Well, up here, we have a variety of different absorbents some for acid and some for bases, okay? Down here we have peat moss. That can help pick up our oils, our gasolines, and things of that nature. When we're dealing with real flammable liquids like airplane fuel, we use some of these foams to help suppress vapor and help us pick up that flammable liquid. We get called to a variety of calls. We don't know what it might be, so we have to be prepared for everything we see. Anytime you're dealing with a hazardous chemical, you need to protect yourself, right? Personal protective equipment. We have a variety of it. When we're dealing with your sulfuric acids, your real bad acids, you might have seen them in a movie before. I don't know, I just watched Alien. That alien acid really hurts. So to protect us from things like that, we start off with our level B, which is basic protection, all the way up to our level A protection, which is the best possible protection you can have. Over here is a, it, one of our level A suits that we have outside for you, okay? You might recognize this, you see them in your space movies. We actually have them here on Earth. It's our level A suits. Inside of that suit, we have a protective helmet, we have our protective boots, can't hurt your feet, or you can't walk, right? Because I told you this suit is vapor tight, we need a, some way to breathe air. We have, right here is a 60 minute bottle. Now it gets 120 degrees in Arizona. I don't wanna be in a suit for an hour. Let's see what else we got for you. Anytime you have a hazardous material spill, you need to know where that spill's going. We set up a weather station on every call. This weather station can give us wind direction, wind speed, humidity, so that we can anticipate where that spill, where those vapors are gonna go to, so that we can help protect our citizens out there. Let's see where we do that research. Come on in, let's take a look. As I mentioned, we like to do research on every chemical that we have, right? So we start off with our laptop. Here we have a, a map of uh, initial plume to be able to get a direction and find out where we need to go to find this chemical, where it's gonna go. Over here, we have a meter that helps us determine what a chemical is. If we don't know what it is, we can put it on this meter and it can help narrow down exactly what we're dealing with. And then we have a variety of other meters that we use on it almost every call. Because we have so many different problems that we have to be ready for, let's take a look at what else we have to help us do that. Let's take a look at this side of the truck. This is a lot of stuff that we have. I'll show it all to you one by one. This first compartment, because a lot of chemicals come in 55 gallon drums, we have this cart. A lot of stuff. I said we have a lot of stuff, but we have to be prepared for any type of emergency. I'd like to thank you for spending some time with us here at Chandler Fire Special Operations House 284, home of hazardous materials. Thanks for joining me today. Come back soon.